Hi, I'm Dr. Min Lu. I'm an interventional cardiologist at White Memorial Heart and Vascular Care Center at Los Angeles. I have been the associate professor of medicine at the University of Alabama at Birmingham and later at the University of Southern California. Percutaneous core intervention has been in constant evolution since its, ven its invention by Dr. Andrew Granzik in 1979. The initial plain or bone angioplasty was limited by acute closure and restenosis. Bell metal stand standing was a major breakthrough development in 1995 and resolved the major complication of acute closure. But the issue of restenosis after bare metal standing lingered. Fortunately, the first generation of drug eluting stand in 2004 drastically reduced the restenosis. Unfortunately, not too long after the wide acceptance of the first generation of DES in the market, a new issue that is late and the very late stent thrombosis was found to be a problem and caused an increase in late morbidity and mortality. Subsequently, in 2007, 12 months dual antiplatelet therapy after standing has be become the standard of care. Since 2010, the newer or the second generation DS has been developed and has been shown to be superior to the first generation of DS in terms of stent thrombosis, repeat intervention, and cardiac mortality. The second generation DS has now become the standard of the practice. Due to the great improvement of the drug coding and standing technology, the 12 months dual antiplatelet therapy has now been reconsidered. A shorter treatment duration, such as three to six months, has shown to be safe and may be equivalent in clinical outcome in various clinical trials. Lastly, we will discuss the most important issue of PCI in treatment of left main and triple vessel coronary disease. In 1990s, multiple randomized studies comparing the bullet angioplasty versus bypass surgery or bare metal stent versus bypass surgery show similar mortality in 10 years follow-up. Similarly, multiple non-randomized studies comparing the first generation DS versus bypass surgery also show a similar result in mortality. However, recently, the randomized clinical trial comparing the first generation DS versus bypass surgery, that is Syntex and the Freedom trial, show the first generation DS is somewhat inferior to bypass surgery. This finding may be related to the late and very late stent thrombosis. Current clinical trial using the second generation DS compared with the bypass surgery has been completed. The results are forthcoming. I hope this succinct article, compact with update information, will be very informative for the busy interventional cardiologist or researcher in related field.